Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Hi friends, it's Kari here. I just wanted to remind you that if you are one of my biggest fans of Heidi, Cherry and Veya stories, don't forget to talk to your parents or your guardians to see if they'll let you join the cat club. Go to the link down below that says patron and you'll find all the information that you need to know. By joining the cat club, you automatically get three exclusive Heidi, Cherry and Veya stories every month that no one else gets. Only cat club members get them. So they're not here on YouTube or Insight Timer on my podcast channel. If you can join, I'll see you there every month on the 7th of the month for your three exclusive stories. Namaste, my little friends. Enjoy your meditation story. Are you ready to meditate with Corey? Make sure that you're lying down and you're comfortable in your bed and ready to relax your body so that you can let go of your day, completely chill out, forget the rest of the world for a while. Heidi, Cherry and Veya had gone on a very interesting adventure. Their friend, Fred, the bulldog, Fred, the police dog, had invited them to go and see a very, very special prehistoric monument in Wiltshire, in England. They went to see the Stonehenge. They were standing in the middle of the stones. There was so much electricity magical energy. The whole place was vibrating. It was a very special place. Cherry was a little bit beyond herself. Heidi was absolutely enthralled. She loved facts and history and numbers and anything to do with books, as you all know. So she was just on edge, waiting for Fred the policeman to tell them all about this prehistoric ritual type stone circle that they were standing in. Veya wasn't really that interested, but she listened. Cherry said, Fred, 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 I can't believe that you invited us here. I can't believe it. And I can't believe that you got it so that we could actually be in the circle. In the special place where we're standing right now. Can you feel it? Can you feel the energy? It's like going up me paws. It's vibrating all of me body and all of me fur is standing on end. Bea just nodded, but she couldn't really feel a thing. It wasn't really her thing. She wasn't really interested. And therefore, she wasn't really tuned in. But Cherry and Heidi, on the other hand, Heidi said, If you touch me, You'll probably light up like a light bulb. I'm so full of electricity and magnetism right now. Cherry said, Come on then, Fred. Come on, Fred. Tell us all about it. Fred said, Well, okay. Okay, girls. First of all, as you know, or if you don't know, you're standing in a very, very prehistoric, special place. Cherry said, Prehistoric? What does prehistoric mean? Does it mean it's pre... Prehistory? Fred said. Very well. Close, close. Prehistoric basically means, Cherry, that it's very, very old. Old indeed. In fact, historians think that the Stonehenge could be as old as 3000 to 2000 BC. This was just numbers to Cherry. She got no idea what he was talking about. Heidi knew. She understood. Do you understand what BC is? Fred, the policeman, said, as he could see how confused Cherry was looking. Cherry said, Uh, is it like an abbreviation for because? Or like, uh, you know, like when you're texting 
and you do like short short things just like you know lol like you know like laughing out loud that kind of thing is it like that is it like pre before all of that <gasps> i know where it is it's before cherry bc before cherry that's what it stands for don't it that's what it stands for before cherry this monumental thingy that we're standing in was built before cherry fred said that's a very good cherry but no it means before christ christ the lord before he was born this was three thousand years before he was even born that's a long time ago wow sir said cherry that's really 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 old you'd think they'd look worse than this wouldn't you fred said well actually a long time ago they think that there were at least about 165 stones here now there's only 86 where did they go who knows heidi said well hmm i've been reading a lot about this place and you know it's a mystery on how the people that built it all that time ago even got these stones here they're so big and so heavy they didn't have trucks or anything that they could drive them up here on no they'd had to do everything by hand and by wooden machines that they'd made how did they do that i wonder i think there's something else to this place fred said you might be right heidi you might be right cherry said what are you guys talking about? Are you talking about like some magical stuff or something that we don't know about? Heidi said, or maybe it was built by aliens. Cherry said, OMG. OMG, do you really think so? Do you really think this place has got like alien vibes and stuff? That's so awesome. Veya, aliens, don't you like aliens? Veya got a little bit more interested. Hmm, if they look like princes and princesses, and maybe fairies, then yeah, I like aliens. Cherry said, Oh, give it a rest, Veya, with your princess stuff. Anyway, yeah, they, they might do, you never know, because how many aliens have you met? Absolutely zero by zero, right? Absolutely. Zilcho, Bilcho, absolutely none, right? You've met none. So, that means they could look like fairies. They could look like princesses and princes, couldn't they? They could look like wet, whatever you want. I personally think they look like lizards and frogs. But you never know, do you? I mean, you never know. They could, they could, they could, they could look like anything. Anyway, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're talking about something really interesting. Aliens. They could pop out from the stones at any second. In fact, don't touch a stone because you might just fall into the stone and end up in another planet, in another dimension, floating around like a big fat blow up frog. Blah, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Heidi said, Fred, keep telling us the facts. Cherry, be quiet. Cherry, shut up and listen to Fred. She was very, very interested in what was coming next. Fred said, well, let me tell you about the stones. The large stones are called Saracen stones, and the small stones are called blue stones. Oh, <gasps> said Cherry. Do you know what, Fred? Do you know what? I've heard that there's blue aliens. They're blue. They can be blue like, you know, like a... Like a blue fish. Or like a giant, a giant, like, blue... Uh, uh, a blue octopus or something, can you imagine? Oh, I bet the blue stones are the ones that the aliens brought. And them other ones, them Sansonite ones. Not Sansonite, said Fred. Sarsen, Sarsen stones. Yeah, them, said Cherry. Them, 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 I mean them. I bet them, they're from like the... <gasps> they're from Sirius. Sirius is a star system. Do you remember? Do you remember, Heidi, when you tell me about that star system? And there's probably aliens living there. So, the the Saracen stones, uh, the big ones, right? Touch them and we'll go on a trip to Sirius, 
the star, star, whatever. And then, if we touch the small stones, we'll go to some kind of blue planet where all the aliens are blue. Oh, God, this is so exciting. I've got to swallow. I've got to breathe. I might pee myself. I think I'm going to pee myself. It's so exciting. Oh, wait a minute. What if, they, what if these aliens aren't very nice? What if they're like bullies? I don't like bullies. What if they're like bullies and they're like, come through the stones and they say, hey, these are our stones. Get out of here. Get out of here right now. <gasps> what if they do that? Heidi said, they're probably not going to be bullies. They're probably going to be kind, compassionate, and care about the earth kind of aliens. I don't think they're going to be the ones that come and blast us away just because we're getting on their nerves that we're in the stones when we're not supposed to be near the stones. Vea said, Hmm, me doesn't like the sound of this. I think I'd like to go home. Fred said, Everyone, calm down. He was using his police voice. It was very authoritative. Calm down, everyone. I say we just calm down. The stones are just stones, Cherry. We're not going anywhere through the stones, I don't think. Anyway, the big stones are called Saracen, and the little stones are called blue stones. That was my fact that I was sharing. And don't worry, Vea, if there are aliens around here, I don't think they'll be mean. Cherry said, oh, that's just an assumption. That's just an assumption. And you know what assuming means, don't you? Assuming, assuming gets you into trouble because you just don't know. And if you just assume that you think you know, but you don't really know, then you're assuming. And that might not be good, right? Because you're just guessing. Because we're just guessing. I'm just guessing. We're all just having a little chitty chat. We're just chitty chatting about what could possibly be going on here in the Stonehenge. <gasps> do you know what? Do you know what? What do you think they used to do here? If the people did build it and not aliens, what do you think they did? Heidi said, well, in one of the books I was reading, it looked like they did rituals like ceremonies and things like that in the middle of the stones. Mmm, said Cherry. I bet they did. I bet they did. What kind of rituals? Did they do any, like, rituals where they cut you into pieces and burn you in a pot? Bea went, <gasps> Cherry said, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Bea. I did tell her I'm kidding. Fred said, we'll have less of that, Cherry. Scary talk is not good. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just saying, that's all, Vea. I'm just saying, you never know. You never know, Vea. Vea was looking whiter than she's ever looked, and Vea is pure white. Her little blue eyes were really big like saucers. She was a little bit scared. Don't be scared, said Cherry, even though she was enjoying the fact that her sister was a little bit scared. She thought it was funny. Don't be scared. It's okay, I'm here. I can protect you. Anyway, let's listen to Fred. Fred said... This place, Wiltshire, is a very special place in England. It has a lot of magic. A lot of the folks that live here believe in magic. It's a very magical place, a very magical town. Cherry said, I bet it is. I bet it... <gasps> Do you see that? All of a sudden, a tiny little cat that didn't really look like a cat, that looked very strange... But it still looked like a cat, but wasn't a cat, because it had two tails and four ears, and it was bright, illuminous, green, came round the back of one of the stones. OMG, said Cherry. OMG, said Cherry again. No one was really paying attention. She was the only one at this point that could see the strange-looking cat. OMG. G! OMG! 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 Guys, you're not going to believe it. You're not going to believe it. It's one at Snuggle Cats. You know how we went to that place in Box. We went to that place in Box. We were playing in Box. Everybody started to listen to Cherry. Remember last week when we were playing in the Box and we were pretending? We were pretending. Oh, I can't talk. I'm so excited. We were pretending that we were going to go to outer space, remember? And we were going to go play. And we were going to go and do all this stuff. We were going to, like, go and meet aliens and stuff like that. Oh, gosh. I need to calm down. 
Heidi said, calm down, Cherry, take a breath. Cherry took a breath. <gasps> anyway, <gasps> listen, 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 listen to me, listen. Remember the snuggle cats? They were so cute. They were so snuggly and cute, remember? I just seen one. I just seen one behind that big stone. It just came out behind that big stone. Look, everybody, look, look behind you, look. Everybody turned around. There was no cat. Nothing. It had completely vanished. Vanished in the magic of Stonehenge. Jerry said, I swear, I swear on my life that I just saw one of the luminous green cats from Cat Star, that planet that we went to in the box. Remember? Everybody nodded because they remember, except, except Policeman Fred, who didn't know exactly what she was talking about. She was just waffling on. And he thought, well, that's kind of normal for Cherry, so he didn't really pay that much attention. You remember, said Cherry, it was were, it were green and it had like two tails and four ears, four ears, four, oh gosh, I can't even talk, I'm so beside myself. Four ears, it had four ears and it was just awesome and it was really cuckly, remember, it was so cuckly and it wanted to snuggle. Do you not remember? Everybody remembered, but they couldn't see the cat. Where was the cat? It's okay to remember. But if you can't see what Cherry's talking about, then it just seemed like she was making it up. I'm not making it up. She knew what they were thinking. I'm not making it up, said Cherry. I'm telling you the truth. I did. I saw a green cat. Fred pulled everyone's attention back. <coughs> Please listen to your guide. You may see strange things here in this particular vortex of energy. Oh, that's a fancy word, said Cherry. <coughs> Please listen, said Fred. You may see some strange things, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're real, Cherry. You might see all sorts of things here just because of the vibration and the energy that the stones hold. Like I said, Wiltshire is very a magical place. All right, all right, said Cherry. But I did see it. I swear on my death. I swear on my life. Oh, I don't know what you say, but I swear on it. That I saw that. I saw that. I saw that cat. I saw that snuggle cat. I did, I did, I did. Bea said very quietly because Fred was looking a little bit irritated with everybody. I, I, I believe you. Thanks, Bea, said Cherry. I know, I know you do because you're so nice. Heidi, on the other hand, would probably need evidence because she's so factual and left-brained and she likes books and stuff. Anyway, at least we now know that what comes out of these stones aren't bullies because there's nothing worse than a bully. There's nothing worse than anyone that's mean and angry and nasty to people. I think, thank goodness, it's a snuggle cat and they are nice aliens and they're compassionate and kind and, they, and they're, they're nice to each other. They're nice to the families. They're nice to the mums. They're nice to the dads, I bet. I bet they're nice to other aliens. I bet they're nice to everybody. So, yeah. Yeah. I feel at least a little bit happier know that whatever comes out of these stones, they're nice. Fred told them a number of different facts about the stones. He went on for another half an hour. By the end of it, Cherry was full of knowledge. Heidi was very, very happy with all of the knowledge and the facts that she found out about Stonehenge. Vaya really couldn't care less. Then they all went home. Fred gave them scones, jam and clotted cream. Since they were in England, it was one of the things that they eat there. It was absolutely delicious. They had it with a cup of English tea, which the two of them together was very, very nice. Particularly nice, thought Cherry. Then they settled down and snuggled together on a really big soft bed that Fred had put in front of a fireplace. The fireplace had wood in it and it was crackling and popping and making all these awesome sounds. The cats laid and watched the flames. Fred 
snuggled up to the cats too, completely relaxed. He let go of his policeman role. He let go of being a guide for the day. Fred was now just the cat's friends. They snuggled in, closed their eyes, relaxed their bodies, decided to take some deep breaths to let go of the day. Everyone sighed. Mmm, this is nice. And then they fell asleep and had the bestest dreams about aliens and magic that they'd had for a very, very long time. The end.